Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a specific question that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to change the floating label hint color in a text input layout when the edit text is not empty and not focused. Let's break down the scenario and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To change the floating label hint color in a text input layout when the edit text is not empty and not focused, we need to modify our styles and implement a listener. First, let's review the current XML layout code for the text input layout and edit text. Here is the code you provided. Next, we need to adjust the styles to ensure the hint color changes appropriately. Let's modify the auth input style. Now, we will implement a text watcher on the edit text to listen for changes. This will allow us to change the hint color dynamically. Finally, ensure that you test the implementation to verify that the hint color changes as expected in different states. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To change the floating label hint color in a text input layout when the edit text is not empty and not focused, you can use a custom style. This involves setting specific color attributes in your style definition. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To change the hint color of your edit text when it's not empty and not focused, you can set the hint text color using a simple method. If you need to clear the focus from your edit text, you can do that easily as well. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To change the floating label hint color in a text input layout when the edit text is not empty and not focused, you need to modify the text input layout style. Define a custom style for your text input layout. Set the hint color and label color based on the edit text state. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.